In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a photo slideshow in DaVinci Resolve. First of all, go over to unsplash.com and select nature over here and you can download any image that you like and make sure that you download three images at least because we're going to be using three of them in this video. Next, go over to texture and patterns and here you will find different texture and patterns but the one that I'm using for this video, if you search for grunge texture and scroll down, you will see that you'll find this texture over here and go ahead and download this because this is the one that I'm using for this video. And one other thing that you need to download is go and search for film. And here you will find this image over here. Go ahead and download this one as well. So once you have them downloaded, go ahead and import them in DaVinci Resolve and go ahead and create a new fusion composition. Let's call this slideshow. Hit create and let's go over to it. First of all, create a background. Connect this with your media out. I'm going to leave this as a black background. So the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and drag the images that you downloaded. So the first image that I downloaded is this river image. Let me go ahead and connect it with this background. And here you can see we have our image. Next, go ahead and import this film that we downloaded and make sure that you change the settings to 1. 1. 1.5 and rotate the angle to 90. And now go over to this merge and select the apply mode at set the apply mode at multiply. So here you can see we have this texture over here of the grain that is showing on the image. Now the next step is to download the texture. So we have this texture over here that you downloaded from Unsplash. Go ahead and change the size to 4 and set the apply mode at screen. Now go ahead and change the grain to 0 0.4 and set the blend at 0 0.6. So here you will see we have a nice effect in the background. Okay, so increase the size to 4.1 so that this covers the whole background as you can see. Now once again, go ahead and import this texture again. Connect this and once again, set the settings, but this time go with 4.5 as the size. And also go ahead and change this to 110. So 110, set the angle to 110 and go ahead and select screen. And this time set the grain to 0 0.2 and the blend to 0 0.3. So we have more depth to our texture or our background. So here we have our composition almost done, but now we need to animate this. So first of all, I'm going to select this merge one, which is the image. Set a keyframe at size and at angle. Now go over all the way to the end of your timeline over here. Set the size to 1.3 and set the angle to 10. So if you go ahead and play this, this is how it will look. And now let's go ahead and add a transform over here. So we have this transform over here. Let's go ahead and set a keyframe at size, go all the way to the end and increase this. like this. Now let's go ahead and see how this looks. So here we have a nice looking effect. Now what we need to do is go over to the timeline 
and simply just drag your composition over here. Now, one thing that you need to do is go ahead and copy this or duplicate this slideshow composition that we have and go over to the duplicate. Now, what you need to do is simply go ahead and first of all, remove the image and replace it with another image that you downloaded. So I'm going to replace it with this one. And if we go back to our timeline, now we can drag this as well. So now if you play this, you will see that you will have different image and we are also going to add a transition effect over here so if you go over to video transitions you can simply select blur dissolve and if you play this now this is how it will look and of course you can go ahead and copy this once again you can duplicate this clip go over to it and simply replace your image with a new one so this is the final image that I have. Let's connect this. Go over to the timeline and simply drag this over here. And set the blur dissolve as the transition effect. So this was it for this video. I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.